Hello and welcome back to Ramble Craft, where in this episode, um, I've been pranked. Yeah, I've been pranked. And here's my live reaction to it. Alright, so I just get a message from, you guessed it, Atlantis. And, um, I've been told to either be away from my base or underground or recording when I joined the server. And I have off-camera work to do, so I'm gonna record this clip right now. Here we go, here's the server. I'm in my AFK fish farm currently, and she said that is perfect. And conveniently, I am looking at the ground. Um, I see a sign that I did not leave. Oh no. Wait, I did not place that wood up there. Okay, hold on. Wait, there's multiple signs. Wait, what's this? Rebel sign. Excuse me. Rebel sign. Rebel sign. Hi, Bean. Hope you enjoy the face. Oh no. And this absurd amount of signs. Tongue face. Eh. Excuse. Eh. Okay, so that is clearly the eyes, eyebrows, and other. Are those tooth? Or weird birch wood face smile saliva? <laughs> <laughs> or the. You know, this build was so beautiful when it was finished. Well, okay, maybe it wasn't beautiful, okay? But it at least looked. Okay, in my opinion, anyway. This just... Um... She has no idea what she has just started. Um... Apparently, the rebel signs have even made it into my bed. This is war. So yeah, that's fun. But don't think I won't take revenge. We will take revenge today. Um, the prank is right there, as you can see. You just saw it. I'm gonna go sleep right now. Um, I have been AFK in the AFK fish farm, and really quickly, um, as I also put in the last episode, that this AFK farm, well, the old AFK farm that I showed in that video, actually does not work to get treasure. But this new one does, and I will leave all the links down below in the description if you're interested in it. Um, but here, you can see the results of the AFK fishing. Of course the fish, but as you can see, I now get treasure. As you can see, we have a name tag here, we have a saddle, and we have four enchanted books and two enchanted bows. Let's just quickly take a look at them, because I don't remember. Power 3, Flame, uh, Punch 2, and we have Blast Protection 4, Respiration 3, Power 4, Efficiency 4, is my 4, that's a good one. Efficiency 4, Curse of Energy, Ew. Punch 2, and Multi-Shot, Impaling, and Fortune 2, that's not bad. Which is this one, actually? I wanted to put on my pickaxe. Now, something else has happened. Um... This shop, I believe both Kier and Dev own, I believe they own the same shop. Um, they announced in the Discord that, there's, that their prices have lowered. And um, this is the amount of diamonds that we have. And they have some pretty good stuff, not gonna lie. And honestly, honestly, I'm a big fan. Um, if I remember correctly, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna bring all these diamonds with me. Um, I'm gonna leave one. Actually, I know... Uh, dee -ba -dee -ba -dee -ba -dee -ba. Yeah, you know what? I'll take this many. I can get more. Anyway, um, we're heading over to the shopping district to just take a look. Also, to see if we have gotten any sales. I don't know if we have yet. Um, I'm recording this on Tuesday, so probably not the whole... Maybe a whole lot of people haven't actually made it or um, checked it out yet. Of course, maybe some aren't even interested. We'll see. Um, now I'm harvesting these melons because... Hmm. Looks like I need a new axe. Interesting. Now the reason why we need these melons, or why I'm farming these, is because today we are going to make a farm. And not just any farm. A slime farm. I found a slime chunk and I'm actually going to be streaming in just a moment after recording this clip with Atalantis and she's going to help me with uh, building the slime farm because it is a lot of work. Um, so she's going to help me with that. In return I'm going to help her with another project that I'm not gonna say right now. Um, 
But anyways, let's head on over to the shopping district. I should say though that this live stream will happen after I've recorded this clip today. Um, so if you don't want to miss more live streams, be sure to follow me on Twitch down in the description below because all these Ramblecraft streams happen on Twitch. So if you're interested, go ahead and uh, follow. And uh, also remember the notica blah, 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 notifications. You can also join my Discord server for... Uh, why am I taking the boat? I have a nether tunnel. Eh? Anyway, as I said, join my Discord server, link down below in the description as well for announcements when I go live and stuff like that. Anyways, now let's head on over to the shopping district. Phew! I made this nether tunnel for a reason. Why did I use a boat? <laughs> I don't know. Oh dear. Oh dear. I don't think I'm welcome here. Die, please. Ah! Die. Oh, hey, fellas. Please, be gone. Ow. Ow. Oh, I got another piglin head. <laughs> Why not? Oh, and a crossbow. That could come in handy. All right, so before we check out Kieran Dev's uh, shop over there, I am going to really quickly see if we have made any sales. Uh, also, yeah, I, I changed the sign. Um, Spice Mines in the comments in the last episode um, pointed it out, and I've now changed the sign to Fish and Goodies. Now, let's see. Have we made any sales? Okay, we have not sold any of the salmon. Ooh, we actually sold one of the, the stacks of cooked cod. Nice. All right, cool. Uh, I am taking this one back because I need to change that to cooked salmon. Um, but hey, we made a diamond of profit. That's not bad. And now we're going to go ahead and spend it all. <laughs> okay, probably not. All right, let's check it out here. First, I'm going to eat a fish. Also, we get out of the rain. That's nice. All right, so I know for a fact one bottle elytra mending and stack of rocket has been reduced to 15 diamonds now that is an excellent price and honestly i would love to buy this but i am not going to and the reason for that is i'm going on an end raid with atalantis at some point uh hopefully in the very near future and so it would kind of make it like obsolete to do an end raid if I have an elytra so we want to do that together so I would love to take that but yeah I think I'll have to pass but over here five diamonds for one mending book and for that I am sold I want mending on all my stuff but I'm going to start off with I think two mending books one for my pickaxe actually hmm so let me see here how many diamonds do I have uh... okay so I could spend this much i don't want to spend too much i want to spend it in a good way so i think i've got to get pickaxe shovel and fishing rod and then i'm gonna save the rest either for another time or either to buy more mending books in the future or for something else i think this is my move pickaxe fishing rod and shovel I really want one on the sword as well, but I think I'm going to hold off to save some of the diamonds. Plus, we're going to get a fortune book on our iron pickaxe as well, so we can hopefully get more diamonds in the future and then get more without it hurting our economy too much. So I think this is a good purchase right here. Also, I need to remember this. 64 rockets, one diamond, and two diamonds for tier 3 rockets. I'll definitely have to uh, come back and uh, take a look at that. Also, it seems like they're getting sold out, so... Yeah, what, what's this? 10 diamonds for one elytra. Yeah, in that case, it would be cheaper to get this. But again, end raid coming soon. Which also, by the way, I'm planning to stream on Twitch. So, if you are not followed, do it now. Alright, so I'm heading back to base now. We're gonna put the enchantments on my pickaxe, fishing rod, etc. And then, just before I get in a call with Atalantis and I start the stream, I want to grab the dirt from the area that we're going to make the farm. I can show you the farm area as well, but I need the dirt. Um, remember that prank she did? Yeah, um, I have a plan. All right, back at base. Let's bring my... Yes, this one. I'm bringing three, lure three. Hopefully, I'll be able to get a lockbook on there eventually. Uh, actually, what is the next enchantment saying? Lure three, yeah. So we'll just put it on that and then I will just have to eventually get a lock fishing rod as well and put on there. So let's start with this one. So first off, it's salmon. Salmon? Sal salmon. Sal sal I can't even s s pronounce the... Okay. 
Uh, I'm pretty... Hold on, is it two L's? Nope, sell money. I have a feeling I spelled that wrong. Hold on. Sell money. Eh, alright. That should be good. Okay, and we gotta put mending... Hold on. Nope, that's fortune. <laughs> We gotta put mending on our fishing rod. That's going to cost two levels. Very well. And then we gotta put uh, mending on my pickaxe here. Boom. Mending. So now I can repair it. And I'm going to put Fortune 2 on it as well. And then I'm gonna take the shovel and put mending on that as well. Because that is a really good shovel. And I like it and I wanna keep it. Um, so there we go. I think that was very well invested. Now I'm gonna head over to the site where we're actually going to make the farm. Um, I should say, by the way, that I will be recording it with the replay mod and get it all into a time lapse so you guys will see it built um, as a time lapse in this video after the stream is complete. Um, but it's right over here. Wait a second, did I get the island wrong again? I sure did get the island wrong. Anyways, here we are. So as you can see, I have marked out the area with cobblestone pillars. If I just hold down F3 and press G, you can see the border chunks. Um, and as you can see, if I walk into this border uh, here, you can see that the torch is just inside the border and those out there outlines the corners outside. And this chunk, we are basically going to mine all the way down to bedrock. So it's gonna take quite a while. Um, so yeah, but first I want, I need this dirt, okay? Now, my, I might as well tell you, my prank idea, right? My prank idea is that Atel needs a lot of dirt for her project, right? Okay, um, so I thought that I could return the favor. She made a face at my base and I'm gonna go ahead and make a face at her base but the difference is this one will be made out of dirt so it's actually going to be first off huge secondly it is going to be a gift so she can't be that mad <laughs> right or did I go wrong in, a, in, in the equation here all right so I just my I just dug the top area here and I, we need to get to the screaming bed and that's a while before we reach the stone. So I'm just gonna get started. I should have enough dirt in total to actually be able to make this. So hopefully I have enough. If not, I can just ask if I can keep it and uh, she'll get it eventually anyway. So I mean, it'll be good. Um, but here you can actually see if I just shave this bit off right here, you can see how big this is actually going to be and digging it out is only part one. So yeah. We actually got to do another stream on the week, um, building the thing, not the structure even, just mainly the farm. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and do the stream and I'll beat you when uh, the time lapse is over. So enjoy the time lapse of building this thing.
Alright, so that was a huge amount of digging and it took quite a while, but we are not done. It is time for part 2. As you can see, we have a big hole now, and as you can see, there are actually slime spawning. Um, but this is just a hole. We need to add floors, and we need to add some more stuff, and also a collection system uh, to make this properly work. So, yeah, enjoy part two. And so with that, the slime farm has been constructed. And I have actually been standing up here in a little bit of an AFK cube that I made here um, for a cup. What's that? Ah, yeah, that, that's why I'm surrounded by glass. That's that's why. Um, but yeah, I've been AFK up here for a couple of hours now. And you can see my base. But um, I want to see how much slime we actually got. I know for a fact before I started this AFK session, that quite a lot of slime were down there in the chest. Like, I think easily over nine stacks of slime. But anyways, we are gonna get right to it. I'm gonna grab my shulker box and I'm gonna try not to die. Uh, I have 42 levels, so I don't wanna die. But yeah, here it is, the hole. As you can see, there is the slime farm. And we installed these water elevators right here. So it's easy to come up and down. And next episode, I will actually be building a structure around this, just so it looks cool. Um, but yeah, let's head down here and see how much slime we actually got. I hear some slimes as we're going down. They're probably dying. But here we are. This base is pretty much clear for... Um, yeah, it's safe down here. Here are the chests. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I did not expect that much. Wow. <laughs> That is a lot. That is a lot. That is over a normal chest full of just slime. This farm works amazingly. <laughs> so I think my plan is to actually make a slime farm out of this. Because there aren't one yet. And hopefully it's something I can uh, earn money on. Speaking of which, we need to head to the shopping district. Because we gotta change some stuff. Alright, so first off I'm gonna grab these fish here to restock the fish shop and I decided to change the prices of the fish shop so I made these emeralds right here um, because I saw Hudlin's video uh, I believe the latest one and he walked into my shop and uh, I think maybe he accidentally looked in the wrong barrel I'm not a hundred percent sure so basically what I want to do is I want to make it easier to like see where you're supposed to actually take stuff from. So I'm actually going to remove three of the barrels and I'm gonna place these emeralds inside of it. And as you can see, I've lowered the price. So it's one diamond for two stacks of cooked cod, one diamond for 32 puffer fish, and one diamond for one stack of cooked salmon. Um, so that is that. Also, I want to show you real quick that I have been doing AFK fishing and this is the amount of loot that I've gotten. Some of it is from the previous farm, but all these enchanted books, as you can see right here, are from uh, this farm right here. And I have actually already done some enchanting. This chest plate now has stones two and mending. That was one book. And then I added a sweeping edge to this diamond sword right here. And that was just from this AFK fish farm that I got those. Now let me real quickly show you uh, where I got the levels from. You see behind my island here, 
at this like stone area. Uh, yeah, you see that light down there? Hold on. You see that light? Yeah, that's a stronghold. Now, people have already been in the end, and Bobo actually made a enderman farm and allowed everyone else to use it. And that is basically what I have been using, but they didn't use the stronghold. So this is actually a different stronghold than the one that they used to get to the end. So this is pretty much almost my own end portal. So that's pretty good. So that's pretty cool. So let's jump through here. And if we walk up here, as you can see, there is the Enderman farm. And I gotta say, it is pretty efficient. Let's just head over there. Here you can see all the Endermen, and uh, this is gonna get loud, so I'm just gonna lower them to that. And we can just stand here and kill them and get levels. And also get an insane amount of Ender Pearls. Um, so that's really cool. But that's cool. Now I have easy access to the end. And since my base is very close to Atalantis as well, now she also has a very quick way of getting to the end. Now the exit portal is right here. I just run through this and I get teleported back to my bed. Perfect. We are going to the shopping district, but first I need to bring some diamonds because I need more mending. And I'm just going to say here and there, they have some competition going for them because someone else is actually selling mending books for cheaper. Also, I don't know if I showed this, but I actually fixed the staircase before I had to go all the way down and then up and then turn around to get back up uh, to the portal that leads to the shopping district. But I this time I actually managed to uh, change <laughs> the staircase, dig the other way. So now it is uh, the right way it is supposed to be. The old staircase was right over here and it was really annoying the way it was. So. Now, this one has taken its place. Anyways, here we are at the fish shop. I'm gonna remove these. We're not gonna need these iron frames anymore. Uh, oh, someone actually, someone actually bought puffer fish. Oh, that's nice. That's cool. Awesome. All right. Well, um, I am going to have to break you. I'm gonna place a stair like that. I'm gonna place that, and I'm gonna put in the power fish once again and I'm gonna put uh, this right here in the middle to indicate hey this is a uh, this is a price right there I guess I could I'll probably put an item frame actually down here indicating what's in in there but not the price I don't think okay so now I gotta get all these and do it for the rest of them all right so there they are I have added them all right there so one diamond for salmon card and power fish and I'm just gonna put some replacements right in here when I actually get to bring those with me. All right, so Kira and Dev here in the shop, five diamonds for one mending book, which is a pretty good deal. But I do believe, uh, who is it that made that shop again? It's Hokus's shop. There we go, Hokus's shop. This is Hokus's shop right here. And he is, uh, and he is selling two books for eight diamonds. So I saved two diamonds actually from this. So I don't know how many I want. So I want one for each armor piece, which I do have. I have one for my armor already. I need three more. Plus I want one for the sword. Plus I'll eventually want an axe. But I think this is the move right here. Like so. That's four mending books. And he also has right here. I'm bringing three five diamonds per one book. I need unbreaking on one of my pickaxes. And honestly, I'm tempted to just buy it. There's a possibility I could get it from AFK Fishing, so I don't know if I want to take it. I think I might hold off on that. He also has Silk Touch, actually. Three diamonds per one book. That's actually pretty good. But I think I'll keep it to this for now, and then see if I get something from AFK Fishing. All right, now that is that. Before we end today's episode, I have a prank to pull. Because Atalantis, uh, she, uh, she, she pranked me with that face. And I want to return the favor. You see, she's currently doing a project where she needs a lot of dirt. And I want to give it. But I don't want her to just get away with that prank. <laughs> just like that. I want to do it in a fun way. Um, so that's why I'm grabbing all this dirt. Because I have a plan. I'm going to steal these signs now. Because they are messing the place up. Plus, I'll need them. Oh yes, she also gave me some bamboo. That is growing very nicely. Anyways, we are going to head over to her base and uh, leave her a bit of a um, 
of a gift. All right, here we are. And as you can see, she needs dirt for this project. And I know exactly how to give it. All right, so I'm gonna go to like around here ish right here will be good and then i'm gonna go up uh yeah i think i'm gonna go up all the way hmm, that might honestly be a little bit too much <laughs> all right i think that is a good enough height then i'm gonna take this dirt and we're gonna go all the way up and then i'm gonna make a 16 by 16 area so that's one two three four five now i could do this on a way smaller scale but I just feel like the bigger it is, the funnier it's gonna be. Now I just gotta fill all of this in. I did originally think that I was gonna like fill the entire thing in because I'm gonna go up 16 as well. And I thought I would fill it out with um, completely. But honestly, I'm not sure if I will have enough dirt for that. So I think we'll just make the walls and the head. Well, not the head, the, the top. And then inside, we're gonna put all those signs and a chest with the rest of the dirt as a gift. All right, so that is the floor. Now I just gotta go up 16, so that's one. That looks so ridiculous from down here. <laughs> and I'm not done yet. Now I'm not done with it. I want a face on it. And I know exactly what kind of face I want. All right, perfect. That is exactly how I want it to look from the outside. Just, you know, inverted. Now I just want to actually break through here and place grass on these edges just to make it look a little bit better. That is the inside, I believe completed now i just need to make a few details in here all right here's the chest with dirt i know it's not much but once combined with this it's it's a good amount that's it's all i have okay now i want to give all back all these signs all right there we go hope you will enjoy this dirt for your massive project and these just say open and a bunch of random ones just as a revenge thing all right let's get out of here i think this will do uh wait how do i block this up again all right and i just placed the last dirt that i have right there with the last signs and uh <laughs> that looks hilarious uh that actually looks hilarious all right we're done for today it is turning night time and i gotta get this episode ready for today <laughs> but anyways guys i really hope you have enjoyed and i hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and uh, goodbye. Oh no. Oh no. No. Ow. Ow. Yeah. Oh dear. I didn't think of that. Huh. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Be quiet. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. This is fine. Of all the places you could have put it. This is fine. <laughs> this is fine. Uh huh. Sure. Ah! <clears throat> Are you all? Okay? <clears throat> <laughs> I have to test it. Okay. See, it works. It works all the way. I wasn't looking, but now I can see what happened in your stream. <laughs> Shush. No one saw anything, okay? That, that. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't even use the scaffolding. Live editor, edit that out, days app. You just, you just fell down the thing. You just jumped off the edge. Twitch, cut that out. <laughs> Put an ad there. Do something. <laughs> uh.
Kebayakan 